Hi, I'm Helen Muntz with USU Extension. Today I'd like to talk about how to take care of and maintain your flower pots to keep beautiful, healthy annuals throughout the summer. It can be challenging this time of year. If you're like me, you take a beautiful basket home for Mother's Day and by July it looks a little bit leggy. So we're going to talk about how to keep them beautiful all summer long. So this container isn't too bad because I've cleaned it recently, but you can see some of the geraniums need a little bit of attention. All you have to do with geraniums is to deadhead, but you don't want to pull the flower off right at the top. You want to go all the way down to the bottom of the stem where it's connected and snap it off that way. You don't need scissors or anything. You can snap it quite easily with your hands. Watch out for wasps, just like that. And it's good to do this occasionally. I tend to have a problem with budworms. Um, and so as you go through and pick and deadhead, you start to see whether you have budworms or not, their symptoms. And what they do is they eat the inside of, of the flower. So today I actually found a budworm on my geranium. If you can see it way in there, he's still a little bit small. He's this green caterpillar. He loves to eat my geranium flowers. One way to control budworms is to apply BT, Bacillus thuringiensis, and that actually kills caterpillars, but it's, it's also a organic uh, so that's one way to apply, or as you're in there cleaning, you can just grab them, throw them on the ground, smash them with your foot, and get rid of them. So this here is one of my favorite dahlias. Um, I've actually overwintered the bulbs of this dahlia plant for about seven years now. Um, it's got this absolutely beautiful orange flower and this nice dark deep foliage, which I love. Um, but as you can see, some of the flowers are starting to fade a little bit. Um, we've got a lot of dead flowers that are ready to come off. So you just prune those. These require scissors, but when you prune them off, it's kind of the same concept. Um, you want to go all the way back. You don't want to leave a long stem. So wherever you see a new bud or a, or a leaf, or a new stem growing out, that's how far you want to cut. So I'm going to cut this whole stem here just to shorten the plant a little bit and help it bush out a little bit more. And this stimulates new growth and more blooming. So it's important to do and it, it cleans your, your pots up quite nicely, makes them look a lot cleaner and tidy. Now, petunias and wave petunias make fantastic hanging baskets, uh, but I think they're the hardest to maintain. The key for me, they are heavy feeders, so I do like to fertilize fairly regularly. Uh, you can do that once a week or every other week, uh, depending on how much dosage you, you give the plant. Uh, in the summertime, you wanna use a higher phosphorus, which is the middle number in the container. Um, the other big thing that I do is I deadhead. Well, actually, I just give it a little haircut. Now, this one looks pretty good because um, I've been doing this about every other week throughout the summer, just trimming a few of the blossoms off around and shaping up the, the pot um, to keep those blooms coming and to avoid uh, dead areas in the center here. Um, another thing, so this is an east facing um, hanging porch, so I like to rotate once in a while to make sure it stays evenly round. Here you can see there's some real leggy ones here. Also there's a little bit of iron chlorosis, that's the yellowing in the leaves there. So that's easy to fix, you just uh, go get some chelated iron. Uh, sometimes there's fertilizers that come with iron and feed your plants with a little bit of iron. Um, as soon as you see these symptoms or even before, just um, preventatively because they do tend, especially these wave petunias tend to get iron chlorosis. 
So it looks like I'm taking off a lot of blooms, but I'm really not. Um, and in the long run, this is really gonna help um, the container stay looking uh, full and blooming. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. Hopefully those tips are helpful for you uh, to keep your hanging baskets look beautiful all summer. Thanks for watching. Bye.